Hello my friends, I have a quick five minute release video for your pelvic floor and hips today. So let's get right to it. We're gonna begin on our backs <clears throat> lying down. And I wanna tell you a trick. If you only have a short period of time to begin releasing, one of the most effective ways is to actually gently activate your muscles that you're gonna to try to release first. And I'll tell you why in a sec. So here's the first move we're gonna do. We're gonna fire up our core and our pelvic floor and our hips by bringing our knees apart and then exhaling and bringing them together. So as you do this, I want you to just feel that as you bring your knees together, you can feel that pelvic floor, inner thighs, and just the center line of your body kind of firing up and activating. Now, I know that we're trying to release these muscles today. Keep going, by the way. We're trying to release these muscles today, and we will, but we first need to find the opposite of what we're trying to do. So the opposite of what we're trying to do is this activation, and that'll make it easier to release. So now keep the knees apart, and we're gonna do a little more activation. Tighten up your butt muscles, engage your glutes, and lift up off the ground. So hold it here, and you can have your hands on the ground and pulse it up. Pulse, pulse, couple more, and then just hold it. Now from this position, staying nice and active, you can feel your butt cheeks active, everything's turned on. I want you to actually tip your knees toward the right and then come up to the middle and keep breathing and then toward the left. You're really active through your butt cheeks. Tip again to the right and left and you can feel this in your inner thighs too. <sighs> Breathe steadily, one more tip and come back to the middle, hold it and five more pulses and three, two, one. Okay, that's enough activation, come on down. So we know what we don't want, which is that activation. Let's go ahead and stretch and release now. Take a deep breath and pull the left knee toward your left shoulder. Now, you can have your left elbow on the ground and just be holding onto your shin area or your knee and really bringing that knee up toward your shoulder. And on this side, on this leg, if you want to have some pillows or a yoga block under, that's okay. If it feels too much to have your leg dangling out here, support it. But just take a minute to breathe deeply as you pull that knee toward your shoulder and your armpit area. Releasing the pelvic floor and just breathing, totally letting go. Now, bring the flopped open leg up and hamstring stretch. So hold on behind your, your uh, thigh and pull the leg toward you. You can also hold on behind your calf and we're just gonna be here for a moment. Flex and extend your ankle. And then let's go into a figure four stretch. So bring that ankle on top of your other thigh. So just above your knee, you have that ankle down and hold it right here. If you want a little bit more, let's add a twist. So this flat foot here, this is going to drop down toward the floor. And try to keep your shoulders on the ground. Hold it here. Or if you want, this is my left leg. I'm gonna use my right hand and press outward against the inner thigh and just open up the hip breathing deeply and letting go. Blow out all the tension. Breathe into the pelvic floor, breathe into the hips, and then let it go. Okay, release, and then let's go ahead and go into the other side. So now we have the right knee moving toward the right shoulder, the right armpit area, pulling it up, and just breathe. Again, if it's too much, you can either straighten this left leg out a little bit more, or you can prop it up with a blanket or pillow or yoga block, so it doesn't feel like it's dangling out in space. And just hold this here and breathe into the pelvic floor, releasing. Let go of any tension, any strain. And now let's straighten up that flopped open leg and straighten up this leg too and we'll go into a hamstring stretch just for a moment here, not long. You can flex and point your ankle, breathing deeply, feeling the spine straight along the floor, stretching that leg toward you, maybe even pulling around your calf. 
and then place that ankle on the opposite thigh, just above your knee, and hold it here. Maybe this is enough, or if you want to bring that flat foot down toward the floor, you can, and add this twist. Shoulders stay on the ground, puff up your chest toward the sky, and then exhale, bring that right shoulder down toward the ground. If you want even more, bring your left hand up and press out against the inner thigh. Feel that opening of your hip and breathe deeply. Breathing into the belly, the pelvic floor, and then exhaling it all out. And release. Now, if you have time for one more stretch, happy baby is one of the best stretches you can do. And you can either just hold on behind your thighs and bring your knees up toward each armpit, or if you want the full pose, you go between your legs, hold onto the outside of your feet, and lift your feet up toward the sky and pull down. This happy baby stretch is one of the best ways to really stretch and open your pelvic floor. And so if you have time, stay here for as long as a minute. You can even rock back and forth. But we'll just stay here for maybe one or two more breaths before we move on with our day. So let's wrap it up. Let out any tension. Try to keep your chin tucked in and not jutting up like this. And release down. Again, you can hold that last pose for longer if you have time. But if you need to move on with your day, then just press yourself up. And I wanna let you know that in the notes for this video, I'll put in some standing release stretches that are really great that you can do anytime throughout your day. And also, if you're looking for a guided program to help you with your pelvic tension and pain, there's a link to my Overcome program in the notes as well. So check that out, and until next time, remember, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. I'll see you next time.